Hi everybody. Um, I'm sat on the front room floor because I wanted to show you. Ooh, look. Paul's blanket is done. Sorry, I'm very pale. Um, yeah, I thought I'd put it out on the sofa rather than me try and hold it up and show you. So it's um, finished and blocked and it's been out drying on the line today. It's uh, 60 inches by 60 inches, so it's big enough for him. Uh, I weighed it earlier, it's 1200 grams, or 1.2 kilos, so, you know, good enough uh, weight, size. Oh, I'm very pale. Let me just move and see if I get any. Is it better? Better, I think. Um, so this is how much of the lightest colour I've got left. This is a 400 gram Mariner Aran Ball. It's probably just over 200 grams, maybe. I only did one row of um, this colour in each repeat. This is how much I've got left in my second 400 gram ball of the dark brown that I bought at the knitting machine show. I am so bright. Is that... Can you calm down? Calm down, camera. Uh, and I've got that much of the medium brown left because I only had the one 400 gram ball of that. So um, these two are going to be a baby blanket when I can figure out what pattern to do. Excuse me. Just have a quick sip of water. Thirsty. Um, it's quite warm again today. I can't make it smile if it's sunny for a few days then it tips it down. So I think now I've got the wedding is done and obviously my uh, focus can you know, return to other things a bit more. I'm making toys for the first time in a while. So uh, I added some more sprinkles to some donuts I've made. Just to, they've only got two colours on, I think. So I just added a few more sprinklers and I made how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Poke balls. Um, there will probably be more. I just make them in batches of how many I can be bothered. I think I made my my red tub, which is over there. Can you see all the? Oh no, you see the tissues. Well, there's Uno cards on the fireplace because they're always at hand. Because you know sometimes we need Uno. So yeah, um, I've made up some more of the like the buttons. Uh, and I, I kind of make them up when I can be bothered sewing them together and then whipping up the balls themselves are quite quick so it's you're like yeah he's done oh I forgot to sew the thing on so eight of those Choo. Hey, we need a puss what's up to his nose this one's nose is giving me grief <laughs> talk amongst yourselves Oh, what's wrong with his nose? I will poke at him later. And then, um, today, I've been... Well, last night I made the cone for this dude. And then I used the same size hook to make the, the topping. And it was too big, way too big. So I had to rip it out and make him make the, the ice cream with... A small hook, so this is a three mil uh, hook. I'm just on uh, DK, I think this was um, Aldi. This might have been Aldi actually. Might have been what I bought for the minions last year, year before. Anyway, is that the same yellow as this? Yeah. Um, so I ended up doing this in a 2.5 and it fits better. So this is patterns by tw 12 squared creations. I will link it. Um, and there is, this is the bear, there is a kitty, rabbit, and a frog, which two of them went, is it a monster? This was before I put the, the mouth on, I was like, oh, no, it's not a monster. And then he went, it kind of looks like that lizard out of Tangled, I'm like, okay. Not more water. Getting closer, and then I put the mouth on the back. Oh, it's a frog. So, um, 
I've got, <laughs> we had a car journey and we went to see Paul's dad, so I made four cones there and back. So I just got to make her screams. I've just had an idea for, because um, Toby said a while ago, because like all children, they watch unboxing videos, like toy unboxings and stuff. But I did quite like the ones he watched. I kind of picked a, um, a couple, um, a man and wife who do it, and then, uh, I don't know, it just it seems a bit more professional, a bit more, like it's not kids opening them um, so much. So... We watch those, uh, it's Shannon and Paul, it's PS Toy Reviews, and I think the first one I watched, they were unboxing some like Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, so I was like, oh, I want it all, um, and they've just done a Gravity Falls one, I love Gravity Falls, I'm such a kid, um, yeah, so they had a set, I can't remember what they were called, but they were Disney, um, toys, and they were like, uh, ice creams and then they had so they had the cone the scoop and then like a a, a dollop of the some decoration or something so i think it came in three parts and they were disney themed so they had a bell and a snow white and um so they didn't necessarily have faces but they were the colors and they've got the the dress details and things like that of disney characters um and they were pretty pretty awesome you could mix and match or keep them uh, as the character they, they came as. So um, Tobin was like, oh, mum, you could do that. Now, I don't know about doing uh, a sort of Mickey or Minnie or anything, because I don't think black ice cream would look great, but I've just started working on a certain off-white slash cream character that's got cute eyes, and I made a lot of him last year, year before, so I think there might be a, a big hero ice cream coming next, but I wanted to film these and show you what I've done uh, when I've got some time, because the boys are playing in the dining room with Paul, so yeah, um, super cute, uh, I don't know whether I'll keyring these or not, I do, might ask around at school and see if uh, these on a keyring is too big, I don't want to put everything on a keyring in case people aren't that fussed. Um, so this is my stock bag, it's looking a bit better, so I've got my hedgehogs and mm, Mike Mazowski Zum Zum and all the fish I made previously and the head, yeah I said hedgehogs didn't I, so cute. Um, so yeah I make a few more ice cream cones, I've got one of my old ice creams, I could make some more of those, um, and I've just, I've just, uh, you know, I had to look for some new ideas because obviously I've got to make. Uh, I won't put in, won't make an opt pie again. However, I found my uh, cake that was a uh, skein of black light, um, red art super saver black light. Uh, I'm thinking octopus will look quite cool in that, so I might make a couple of them. Uh, I want to make some more of those penguins. I don't think I've got any spare. No, I think they all got bought. Yeah, I might make some more penguins, put them on key rings. Um, but just sort of chug away at it, because we've got... When's the fair? 7th of July, something like that. So I've got more time than I had when I signed up for the one last year. Uh, and I've got plenty of stuff. I mean, there's um, another film with those yellow characters in that I like making so much. That's coming out, but... I don't know, I really don't know if I can make myself do it. <laughs> um, I did, uh, I do want to try and look at making some perhaps Pokemon characters, but there's such a, a variety to make. I don't just want to make Pikachu. Pikachu, because everything will be yellow on my store. Yellow ice creams and Winnie the Pooh. Um, I do want to make some more Zum Zums. Um, and I'm working on, I don't know, I say it's something for my nephew. Um, which I've done the most of, I think I need to do his arms. And I've stalled, I've got a couple of things that I've started and gone, <laughs> my top with the King Cole Riot, that pattern I got previously. I started doing it and I did all the repeats for the body and then it says to start the um, like flower motif. And it says you should have 70 something stitches. I'm like, I've got 80. Put it to one side because it's single ply and it won't repair. 
well, I'd probably be pulling my hair out at the same rate I'd be ripping it out, so I'm not doing that, it's, it's gone in the yard cupboard. You go over there while I think about whether I can deal with you. But if I can't deal with it, it's probably just half a ball of the King Cole Right, which worked out at a pound a ball. So if I've wasted 50p and bought a pattern that I will have to attempt, you know, perhaps in a different yarn that I can rip out. Maybe. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I don't know why. I've kept my numbers the same back and forth across the rows because that's what you should do to get the same number of like eyelets in it and then you're supposed to do four repeats of that and have ten less stitches. Where do you lose the stitches? Not meant for garments. I have got a growing list of uh, garments and stuff I want to make. I got the um, Happy Hooker book, the stitching bleh, book. Um, that's got the not ugly shrug in it. I've got a note that I wanted to make that and I went to try that pattern Sean, uh, hi Sean, um, put up last night in your uh, video, so I need to look at that, I've got some, I've got some black that I want to um, perhaps try that in, and I keep meaning to show you, Carol sent me a cardigan um, as a birthday slash wedding present, and I'm never wearing it when I record, I must show you, next time I will pop it on and show you, because it's awesome, do you make me a cardigan? Um, what else? I don't know, I don't think I've got much else to show you, but my amogurumi is back! Yes! <laughs> Finally! It's only taken like six months or something, but it's good, I made lots of blankets. Yeah, the blanket, the rings have changed, I wasn't sure if it was going to go to that person, it's not. Because as well as not being particularly knitworthy, that person's partner. Um, has a cat that shreds things because she knits and she said I'm going to take the knitted blanket over there but keep it away so the cat doesn't shred it. I'm like, <gasps> the rings have changed, blanket's not going there because I won't not be angry if something happens to it. Not like, oh, these things happen. I'm like, get me that cat. I don't condone, you know, not, not. I think my battery is going to die. Right, I better go. If this is still recording, I will see you again soon. And if it's not, I'll record a new ending when my phone's charged.